Is it possible for the Philippines to regain control of Taba from Malaysia? What strategies might be employed to achieve this? And would military intervention be necessary? Additionally, is the Philippines adequately equipped and prepared for any potential military action to retake Sabah? The Philippines had previously considered a plan to reclaim Sabah, and we'll delve into the specifics later. Sabah is a state of Malaysia located on the northern portion of Borneo in the region of East Malaysia. Sabah has land borders with the Malaysian state of Sarawak to the southwest and Indonesia's North Kalimantan province to the south. The federal territory of Labunan is an island just off Sabah's west coast. Sabah shares maritime borders with Vietnam to the west and the Philippines to the north and east. In the 14th century, Bornai and Solo were part of the Majapahit Empire, but in 1369, Solo and other Philippine kingdoms rebelled successfully. Solo even attacked Bornai, which was still under Majapahit's influence. Solo's invasion of northeast Borneo, including Saba, was repelled, weakening Bornai. In 1370, Bornai shifted its loyalty to the Ming Dynasty of China. The ruler of Borneo, Maharaja Karna, visited Nanjing with his family until he passed away. After Japan lost in World War II, North Borneo was overseen by the British military administration and became a British Crown Colony on July 15, 1946. During the ceremony, both the Union Jack and the flag of the Republic of China were raised in Jesselton Survey Hall, which was damaged by bullets. Philip Lee, who fought against Japan, represented the Chinese and supported the transfer of power to the Crown Colony. When the Philippines became independent in 1946, seven turtle islands controlled by Britain were given to the Philippines, including Cagayan de Tawi Tawi and Mangsi Islands, as agreed by the American and British colonial administrations. Before Malaysia was formed and until 1966, Indonesia had a hostile attitude towards Malaysia supported by the British. This led to the Indonesia-Malaysia confrontation. Indonesian President Sukarno believed Britain was expanding its influence in the area and aimed to control all of Borneo under the Greater Indonesian Concept. On the other hand, the Philippines, starting with President Makapagal on June 22, 1962, Claim Saba based on its historical ties to the Sultanate of Sulu. Makapagal believed Saba belonged to the Sultanate of Sulu and opposed a plan to include Saba, Sarawak, and Bornai in the Federation of Malaysia. Saba has faced territorial disputes with neighboring countries, including the Philippines and Indonesia. In 2002, Malaysia and Indonesia took their dispute over Ligitan and Sibadan Islands to the ICJ for arbitration, which Malaysia won. Other disputes with Indonesia include overlapping claims in the Celebes Sea and a land border issue between Sabah and North Kalimantan. Malaysia's claim over part of these partly islands is linked to sharing a continental shelf with Sabah. The Philippines has a territorial claim over much of the eastern part of Sabah. It claims that the territory is connected with the Sultanate of Sula and was only leased to the north. Bernaya Charter Company in 1878 with the Sultanate's sovereignty never being relinquished. Malaysia, however, considers this dispute as a non-issue as it interprets the 1878 agreement as that of cession and it deems that the residents of Sabah had exercised their right to self-determination when they joined to form the Malaysian Federation in 1963. 
The Philippines attempted to reinforce its claim over the eastern region of Sabah. A group of 200 armed Filipinos identifying themselves as the Royal Security Forces of the Sultanate of Sula and North Brunei landed in the district of Lahad, Dato, and took control of the Tandu village in 2013. This Lahad Dato incident resulted in the deaths of 52 members of the Sulu group and eight Malaysian police officers. Before this incident, Malaysia continued to pay an annual session payment amounting to roughly $1,000, honoring an 1878 agreement where North Borneo, today's Sabah, was conceded by the late Sultan of Sulu to a British company. But the Malaysian government halted the payments after this tragedy. As a result, Malaysia started paying annual payments amounting to $10,000 for past dues and interest. The Philippine claim can be originated based on three historical events, such as the Brunei Civil War from 1660 until 1673. Sula militia aims to invade Malaysia's Sabah in February 2022. Secret meeting of 19 mayors discuss recruiting 600 men to invade the state on Borneo Island and spies to scope out coastal towns. The December 1st meeting was conducted by a locally elected official of Sula province who gathered 19 mayors of the Sula archipelago to discuss plans to set up a Royal Solo army with a target of recruiting up to 600 men to invade Sabah. In February 2013, Sabah was rocked by the ultimately unsuccessful invasion of over 200 armed followers of the Philippines' self-proclaimed Sultan of Sula, Jamlul Kiram III. The men were led by the Sultan's brother, Agbimudan Kiram who had come to press an ancestral claim over Sabah. Malaysia responded by sending troops and launching airstrikes before the standoff ended. The conflict, which lasted more than a month, resulted in many casualties from the Sulu Sultan, nine Malaysian armed service personnel and six civilians. In 1967, President Ferdinand Marcos secretly authorized Major Eduardo Abdul Latif to take charge of the operations of a secret commando unit code named Jabida and embark on an operation called Project Merdeka. Merdeka means freedom in Malay, to destabilize and take over Sabah. The alleged mastermind, however, included leading generals in the armed forces of the Philippines. The first phase of the operation saw Abdul Latif with an advanced party of some 17 agents entering Sabah three times to conduct psychological warfare. After 180 young Kausogs from Sula received basic training, they were transported to a remote section of Corregidor Island at the mouth of Manila Bay, where they were further trained in guerrilla operations. Once on the island, the code name was changed to Jabida. The real purpose of the formation of Jabida was never publicized, therefore leading to a wide speculations regarding this top secret military plan. The Aplan Merdeka and the Jabida incident first came to public attention on March 18, 1968 when two fishermen rescued a Muslim man named Jibin Arula from the waters just off Caballo Island in Manila Bay. They discovered that he had suffered gunshot wounds, and he later recounted that he was the only survivor of an attempt by members of the armed forces to kill a group of Muslim army recruits. Can the Philippines retake Sabah? And if so, how?